To access your online mods folder, if you're on the main menu, simply press settings. And if you're in a game, press escape, settings. Once you're here, go to advanced and then press on open user data folder. Once you're here, you can double click on your mods folder and it will bring all of your mods that you have installed. If you've installed mods, I'm sure you know where this is. But to change it, we're gonna find the mod we want. To do this, we're gonna go back to the game, we're gonna find the boat, we're gonna click on it and then go to details. And then we're gonna hover over the icon here, which says the name of the vessel. If you have a pack with multiple ships in it or multiple trains, then you will have to do something pretty similar but slightly different which I explain. So you can see here this is a turbina, we're going to open the turbina uh, mod folder and then we're going to go to res, models, model, vehicle and then this it, for me it will be ship but if you're doing like a train or might be a multiple unit or diesel, uh, whatever, you, you'll know what it is basically, there'll always just be one folder here. Double click this and then in here this will bring up all of the vehicles like i say if you have multiple vehicles in one mod they'll all show up here so you have to find the right one say like there was a turbina mark six then there would be six of these and then there would be you double click the sixth one if you want to change it but seeing as though there's only one in this mod it's very simple just open the mdl file it may ask you to open with something if that's the case you need to press more options and then press notepad accessing steam is a little bit more tricky but it's still relatively simple. Press File Explorer, This PC, Drive C, Program Files times 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Workshop, Content, and then the one you're looking for, these are all your Steam games by the way, the one you're looking for is 10066780. This is the ID for Transport Fever 2. Double click this and it will bring you all of your installed Steam mods. But you might be wondering, well how am I supposed to find my mod? I'm on store these, like just click on them and then look at the preview. Oh no, that's not the right one. And then click on this one, look at the preview. Well, that's not the right one either. Okay, well there's a very, very easy thing to do here. We're gonna open up Steam. We're gonna go to library. We're gonna go to workshop. We're gonna hover over browse, go down to subscribed items and click and then this will bring all of your subscribed items up. We're going to find the vehicle we want. So once we found our vehicle, we're going to go and click on it. And we're going to right click and then copy page URL. Press the Windows key again and then Control and V or right click and paste. And you can see it puts the link in here. The bit we're interested in is this ID just here. We're going to select it and then press Control and C or right click and copy. And then we're going to go back to our file explorer. We're going to go to search at the top here and then paste it in using Control and V or right click and paste and then press enter. And this will bring our mod up. We're going to double click this. And now let's get on to changing the values of the capacity. Click on res, models, model, vehicle, whichever folders in here, it might say train or plane, depending on which mod you're doing. But for me, of course, it's ship. Then you'll have your code here. Like I say, if you have multiple vehicles, multiple files will be here. You just have to find the specific vehicle you want to modify. But in most cases, a mod will just be one vehicle. So you can open the one file that's here. Once you've done that, you'll get a notepad open just like this. You want to go ahead and full screen this. And here we go. What you have to do now to get the setting you want, you press Ctrl and F at the same time and then search up capacity. You can also just search Kappa, which is the easier option. Make sure you have down selected because up will do this. And then press find next. Once you've pressed find next, this will show up here. It will say capacity equals and then a number. This number is interesting. I'm not quite sure why. I've added Good Shepherd Entertainment on Twitter, but I've yet to get a response. Um, for some reason, this number is divided by four. So you can see in game the vehicle's capacity is 30, but in the code it's 120. To figure out which capacity you like, the simple way of doing it is to go back to your game, go onto the vehicle, and then physically just stop the vehicle or pause the simulation and count how many seats are inside the vehicle. In the Turbina's case, there's 56. So to get the number we like, we're going to press on the Windows key, we're going to type the number of seats inside the boat, so 56, and then we're going to put X4. 
and then it will come up here with the answer. You just want to copy this and we're going to go back to our notepad and we're going to paste it in there where the capacity is. And then we're going to press either Control and S, which is the shortcut, or File and Save. After it's saved, you'll see the little star go away from the name and you can press Close. The last step you need to do is press Escape, Quit to Desktop, close all of these files down and open up the game. Once you're here, you can create a new game or you can load your game with the same mod and it will work. You can now see our mod has the new capacity, 56 in this case. And it's as simple as that. I hope this helps you guys out. I also have a brutal mode difficulty let's play series on Transport Fever 2. If this is the sort of thing that interests you, definitely go check it out. I'll put a link in the top right corner for you as well as the description. It would really help me out if you could check me out on Patreon and support me through there. And also, of course, press the subscribe button. And that would, like I say, really help my channel out. So definitely go do that if you can. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.